Hi, you guys. It's Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Oracle. Thank you for tuning in. Today, we are going to talk about the Sun through Virgo cycle for 2017. Lots of energy still moving from that huge eclipse on August 21st that will absolutely be spilling over. So the Leo party is not over, but the Virgo one has most definitely begun. Here are the start times for each section of this video. And I think you will want to stay tuned to the end or just skip over there because the resources and special section at the end has a very special offer to celebrate the eclipse. So let's get into the details. All right, so we're going to start with some charts. I'm going to walk you through five charts and then I'm going to give you my interpretation of the energies that we are heading into. So of course, let's start with the first one, the day the sun goes into Virgo for 2017, August 22nd. So on this chart and all the charts in this video, you're going to see um, again that theme where I did the signs and the planets are colored by the element that they are in, fire, air, water, and earth. So your fire are in the orange, your earth are in the green, your water are in the aqua blue, and the air are in that electric blue so you'll be able to tell whether it's a fire sign an earth sign a water sign or an air sign by those colors so just kind of you know stop and look at the chart pause the video if you need to to um, sort of make those connections but what we see here at the beginning it looks like the Leo party is over right you're just like oh it's just Mars and the North Node um, left back there but we also still have the other fire signs going on with Uranus and Aries and Saturn and Sagittarius of course um, and look at Mercury it's retrograde which means it's getting ready to head back from Virgo into Leo and look at in Cancer Venus at the end of Cancer there so of course getting ready to go into Leo so that's what I mean when I say the fireworks and all that energy from the eclipse is not over yet in fact I my belief is that we're having time to integrate it which I think we're going to need um, but yes we are definitely going to see a shift this cycle with planets not only Mercury moving back into Leo and then into Virgo, but we're going to have Mars move into Virgo during this cycle. Um, so let's get to the next chart, and that is going to be for the 25th. Again, just right at the beginning of this cycle, um, we have Venus moving into Leo, which I was just mentioning. It's going to be there until September 19th. And so that's a nice run. Uh, again, keeping that fire energy and the eclipse energy that was all connected in such a high degree of Leo moving throughout this again making connections with the other fire signs and so um, you know we have this going on and this day I also want to point out is important because Saturn is turning direct also on this day the 25th now that's important it's been retrograde since last April the beginning of April uh, the 5th Again, Saturn is structure. It's our taskmaster. Um, and if you guys have felt like, particularly the mutable signs, like you're trying, you're trying, and it's just been drip, drip, drip with any progress, you know, that's because Saturn is like that drill sergeant or that, you know, physical coach who makes you run with the weights on and you're like this is so hard or you're learning to do a new exercise and you know you go like okay now I can leg extend 60 pounds and the coach is like okay let's try 70 you know and here's 80 <laughs> and you have to like keep learning to do those good solid sets not like using your back and your other parts of the body to do it but true strength in your quadriceps well guess what when you've learned to do that and what have we been through april may june july most of august of saturn being retrograde you know we've learned how to do things the hard way um, or work against the resistance and that actually makes you stronger so when those weights come off or when you go out to do your exercise and the coach made you do all that strength training um you're like dang, <laughs> I'm really powerful now. So you, you, you mutable signs, um, especially because 
you know, obviously Saturn's right in Sag, and I know it's been coming down hard on a lot of the Sages, um, but it's also been squared by mutable people, um, and of course opposing the Geminis, but the Virgos and the um, Pisces have not gone um, unscathed through the Saturn through Sagittarius cycle. So this is a big shift when Saturn turns direct. It's the last retrograde in Sagittarius. So we're checking off those boxes and we're out of this by the end of the year altogether. Let's look at this next chart. It is the fifth when Mercury goes direct. Yay! Um, but it won't be until the 19th until it is um, out of the shadow period. Um, and the 19th is another big day for another reason. Now, the other reason I'm pulling up this chart for the fifth, not only is it, you know, we could all celebrate the Mercury thing, but big shift because Mars enters Virgo where it will be until the 22nd of October. So this is, this is what I mean um, when I said at the beginning of the video, we got this you know, all this energy that's still a mass because this cycle just starts the day after that huge eclipse. Um, but a big part of what fired that up was Mars. Now that's settling into Virgo. So this is a big shift. And with Mercury going direct, remember it stops back there at the end of Leo and it starts moving forward. So it's gonna leave Leo and head on into Virgo and that will be on the 9th, just a few days later. Now, before we leave this period of the cycle, I want to bring up the chart for September 6th. This is the full moon. This is one of the sweet spots in this cycle. Um, yes, it's an opposition, of course. You know, it's a mutable opposition because the sun is opposite the moon, so we, we have a full moon. Um, but what's important about this, I mean, the guidance kind of intuitive part of my work said this is actually going to be super helpful because let's examine um, the qualities of the signs here. So your Virgo stuff is how? How does it work? What does it do? It's scientific. It's analytical. It's logical. It's completely rational. It just wants the facts. Well, life isn't all facts and rationality. Those are important. You got to get your calculations correct, you know, for engineering. However, there is the field, so to speak. You know, there's Neptune. There's the intuitive, intrinsic quality that gives us information from ways that science with all its accomplishments cannot explain yet. So this is always a wonderful full moon because we sort of have the best of both worlds. And I want you to look at this full moon there. Note the degree, 13 degrees and 53 minutes, just a degree away from Neptune. That means we're going to have a lot of Neptunian influence on this day and of course mars you know just getting into virgo at this point will be in evidence but i really feel like you guys will have an opportunity um, around this to while well, you've done a lot of thinking about things to also meditate um get out in nature long walk and i feel like aha moments can really come from a very gentle Piscean place because so it's a it's a really nice full moon and I think it's one of the nice markers um, in this cycle for how to work with the energies that we're about to go through. Um, next one, uh, final chart, the 19th of September. This is the new Virgo moon. I know we wait all the way till the end of the cycle to get a Virgo moon and look, voila, all those planets in Virgo beautiful Virgo stellium. This is also the day that Mercury moves out of the shadow period. So we're done with that Mercury retrograde <laughs> all together. So again, in terms of what you might have gotten an intuition or an insight about during that full moon period, and it doesn't have to be exactly on the day of September 6th, just around that time, take some time out you know, for the things that are really important, give yourself a reading or get a reading done, um, meditate, journal, all those things where you're just sort of downloading information because by the end of this cycle, you're gonna have this nice, I mean, this beautiful alignment of Virgo, which with the ending of the Mercury retrograde and shadow period, we should have gone back through things, gotten some answers, some decisions, um, some key information, which is what we discover both under eclipses and under Mercury retrogrades. And now we can really get ready to implement it 
And this teases us up, believe it or not. I'm almost like sad when I say this because it teases us up right to the equinox. So it's like, oh my gosh. You know, yes, we're moving into um, a cardinal sign when the sun goes into Libra a couple days later. Um, and of course, that's where Jupiter is. So that's a whole other smash that I'll get to in the next video. And it's, you know, it's definitely time for starting things. But it really highlights to me what this cycle is about because the mutable signs prepare us. So you're going to have all this energy from whatever the eclipse has brought into you and hopefully tons of inspiration with all of that fire venus carrying it through after mars heads into virgo and a lot of people maybe don't like mars and virgo but again i always i just love mars anyway because it's just our energy and you know how to get stuff done and in virgo it can be practical, be meticulous, go through the details, come up with a plan and um, a very rational way of getting things done. So it is extremely helpful. And um, I think that you're going to feel the shift from a lot of excitement to analyzing how to do it with just a little dash of magic from that full moon so connected with Neptune and then we, we will be at the autumn equinox like you guys. <laughs> it sounds so silly to be like, I'm so sad to see the summer of 2017 over, but we have one more month of it, you guys. So, um, you know, that's what's going on in this cycle. All right, so I am Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Oracle. I give readings and I visit with my friend Christy Ayala every month on her show so that if I I'm not able to to include something in the video. I'll throw it in on her show. Um, she is um, a reader as well, and she gives angel messages. And um, you can catch our show live or uh, via the archive. The links are always in the description box uh, about how to get a hold of us. She also has a relatively new book just released the end of last year. So the link for that is in the description box. And um, you can reach me at elizabethsoracle.co. And I'm running an eclipse special through August 31st. And the reason that um, I just, it's such a big eclipse. And um, so I thought, well, what could I do to help people? Because people already asked me, well, what's going to happen in here? What's going on? And it's different. The answer is unique to each person because you each came at a specific time. So you have a chart that is unique and singular you're you know born at a certain space and time and now the planets are moving around and they're going to hit your chart very differently than even people born on the same day because they were born at different times during that day and in different places so it's really important to take a personal look at you and what's going on so i have devised the following eclipse special when you order a reading of 30 minutes or more you get a copy of your natal chart cast with the day of the eclipse. So we will take a snapshot of August 21st at the in the time zone that you are in when the eclipse is happening. Um, connect that with your personal birth chart so that you can see how the planets are interacting uh, with where your natal chart is, the ones in your natal chart are. Um, and I'm going to give you a six month, now these are computerized, but a six month transit report. Um, because the general wisdom in astrology about eclipses is it takes about six months for you to really feel all the effects or to see how it all panned out. So you will get a copy of your natal chart with the eclipse date connected with that. You will get a six month transit report and of course the reading and we can talk about how the planets are affecting you. And I know that a lot of you are trying to figure out, well, what does it mean? And I would love to help you with that. If you use the special code Leo Eclipse 2017 with your order, you'll get 10% off the order. That does run only until August 31st. So you can call me um, or email me. All of my details are in the description box as well as a link to my site, elizabethsoracle.co. Um, so 
I think that's all the announcements. I'm just, I'm so excited that um, I literally am uploading this a little early before the eclipse because I feel like everything that's happening as the sun goes into Virgo is still so connected with all this powerful Leo energy and the Mercury retrograde will have already begun. So um, we're already in this process of assimilating and taking all that information and all that power and passion and everything and figuring out how how we're going to put it into practice is probably the best way to say it. So that's unique for each of us. Um, but summer of 2017 is winding up, you guys. The sun heads into Virgo on the 22nd. So thank you for watching. I will be back when it heads into Libra and we begin the autumn equinox time for 2017. Thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you then.